Azetsu from Demon Slayer, Hetengu's Sorrow form, one of the four boys that comes out of him. This is from Season 3, Episode 4. Let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So we've got like a head tilt, face is kind of looking down nearly, right? So just to get sort of the face in the right sort of position, I'm going to start with the nose, right? So we start with this sort of zigzag sort of shape for the nose. So it curves down, out. So that will give you the direction the nose is facing, right? And his nostril will just be here. Right, so. So one eye just up from this nose, right? So it'll go real big, right? So we've got like a tear duct here, like a little curve, and then it'll go up this way, right? Really big now, curving up, then over, down. Like so, and then he has like a big loop at the back, like a big circle here, and then this comes back down underneath and back to the eyelid, or the uh, tear duct just there, right? And then this eye is real dark, right? So we've got a curved line just here at the tear duct, and then the eyelid line comes over and then down to here, right? And all in here is just black, basically. Right, so we've got an iris just in here, and Demon Slayer, it's never really a perfect circle, which makes it sort of easier for us. It's just like these angled sort of lines. Okay, and then we've got some like writing on the eye, but it's so small. So what can we see of it? Not much. So we'll go, we'll just do it like, it's really teeny teeny. So it goes like down here. And then we've got some more lines just like coming across it. And it's all blurry and stuff. So don't worry if you don't get it exact. Something like that. And then his eyebrow, so frowning, he's the sorrow sort of demon, right? So he's got this crinkly sort of frowning eyebrow here. Right, and then some eyelid lines. There, something coming down here. And like another sort of frown that comes up here. Like so, right? And then he has all these cracks that come down from his face. Got a line around the eye. Okay, so what we can see then of his other eye. So his nose sort of comes around and touches his eyebrow sort of shape, right? So it goes up underneath here. And then we have a big sort of frowning line for the eyebrow here, which just goes around sort of his forehead all the way back there. Right, and then what we can see of his eye then underneath. It's all dark in here. And 
it just comes down this way. And then his iris, so he's looking over at us over to the right, so the iris is just like in close to the nose, like so. And then we have some more of that upper moon for writing just inside here. So, and then we can just see like his cheek, or it's like the side of his face just here. And maybe some cracks as well coming down from his eye. Right. So then we'll move down do his mouth. So his face is, again, this is like the center line for his face here, right? So the mouth will be just coming across this way and down. And then the other side just here. Across like so. And then he has these sharp teeth, fangs, sort of vampire-like fangs there. So, and then the rest of his face, so the side of his face follows this line. So it goes behind the nose and then comes down this way. Kind of curves again a bit and then out for the chin. And then the chin will just go that way. And then they have that shadow underneath their chins, like so. Okay. So he's got like a band of hair that comes the whole way down his face here, right? So, and the horn, it actually starts, it comes out from behind the horn, so we'll do the horn first. So we curve a line around here. to a spike and then back down and then it has another sort of curved line around it like so and then we go cracks and things. Like that, and then the hair. So his sort of hair spikes. Coming out. Down his head, right? This way, close to his eye. This eventually goes behind the horn. Like 
print like that. And then he has some fringe here, right? So like the center line for his face is like here. And you have like these sort of fringe lines. And these kind of spikes here. Right, and then this one. Two spikes on his fringe. Like so. And then sort of the, his other horn is here somewhere. forehead comes down and then the horn has cracks and some hair sticking up here Okay, so more hair hanging down here. He's all hair, this guy. Lots and lots of hair. Keep going. And some more that goes down the back of his head, right? So the top of his head will be like here somewhere. It's off the top of my page there, and there's like some texture lines and stuff just here. And then he's got a pointy ear. Comes out from behind his head. And then you got like some ear lines inside. So, and then the rest of his hair sort of sticks out this way. This stuff will eventually now go behind his back and um, those things he wears on his back. Okay. So he's got these big cord things on his shoulders so all right so let's see so <laughs> complicated enough okay um <laughs> just trying to figure it out so we got another piece of hair here like another hair spike right Then it looks like the back of his neck comes down there. And then he has a white collar. Comes down this way. Across the front. Right. And then it seems to go up behind his neck. There. And then comes down the front. So it's got two sides to it. And then we hit that big shoulder bumping thing. So no easy way of doing this. You just gotta kinda do it, right? So you bump behind his arm, it looks like, right down here. And then like the other side. Some 
these big curvy shapes. Okay, they're not easy to draw. And then we have a ribbon. It sort of hangs off his chest here. And then his clothing sort of just goes down that way. And then he's a bit of a overlapping line, just going down there, and then his arm hanging down that way. So then we have another big one of these big cords, right? So again, it's another sort of bumping thing. And we just do these sort of bumpy lines, right, to get us started. And it goes underneath his arm. all the way around the back of his shoulder. It all goes into darkness here, so I can't really see it. But just the other side of these then, so these are all these wavy sort of And then this becomes his arm, like his bicep, right? Comes to there. And then goes up here. shoulder line just disappears under these guys here okay and then some like four lines on his clothing down here he's got that white stripe that runs down it's like a tracksuit sort of he's wearing Four lines and then that white stripe runs down his arm all the way down like so to there and then we do just some more of these sort of curving lines that just disappear back there and that's hair and then the back of his collar here Right, just some extra details. So we got, uh, what can we see? You can see like a neck muscle going that way and then a collarbone there. And then there's another big lumpy thing. <laughs> lumpy thing. Curving around his body. Right, and then the inside of this there, and then these have all lines on them. Eventually they go into shadow, so it's hard to make them out, but we'll just add whatever we can, sort of. Okay. And, like, there's another one in behind here, but this is, like, all in black, in shadow. Okay, so let's just put it back. You can't see any lines in there. Uh, right. 
but I think that's everything. That's how to draw a Z Sue. Hope it's helpful. Cool demon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.